So here is my favorite thing about spring. Hatching eggs from the incubator with the pre-K class. Let's take a look. All right, can you tell me about your chickens? So these are gonna be our Rhode Island Reds up here. She's okay. in the poop. That's the father right here, he's a Batama. The black and white one. Mm -hmm. um, these are buff orphan scents. Uh, the one next to her is gonna be a New Hampshire Red. Uh, these are black. But there is an egg from them inside of there as well. Oh, great. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So here are the egg cartons with the eggs in them for the incubator. And they're upside down because these are hatching eggs and hatching eggs need to be turned every day for best hatching results. So every day I turn them, I turn the carton either right side up or upside down until they are ready to go in the incubator. And today is that day. Here is the first carton of eggs. Now, these on this end, these six, one, two, three, four, five, six. These are duck eggs. The ones on the other end, these six, one, two, three, four, five, six. These are chicken eggs from all different kinds of chickens. So half are duck eggs and half are chicken eggs in this box. Let's look in the other box and see what we have. These are all chicken eggs. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight chicken eggs in this box. These are the chicken eggs I got probably four or five days ago, and I'm keeping them separate from the ones I got yesterday. So the ones I got yesterday are more likely to hatch because they're fresh, and the older ones are less likely to hatch. So I'm going to put the brand new eggs, the ones that I just got yesterday, into the brand new incubator because they're the ones most likely to hatch. And this incubator has the best view. You can see everything happening in here. Now here are the rest of the eggs that are going into the old incubator, the one that I've been using for years and years in different pre-K classrooms to hatch out my eggs. Now these six, one, two, three, four, five, six, these are the duck eggs. And these eggs, one, two, three, four, five, six, whoop, seven, these are the chicken eggs. They actually look quite a bit different. Tell someone at home the differences between the duck and chicken eggs. So this is the new incubator. These little ovals are where the eggs set and the disc that has the ovals cut out of it turns left and right. So the eggs get rotated and they get a little bit of exercise inside the egg and the yolk doesn't stick to the side of the egg. This is the water reservoir put water in it up to the top of that little mark and it makes the inside of this dome 
a little bit humid, which means there'll be little water pieces in the air, like mist. It will get put just the right amount of water in the air in there because the gigs will need water. Right here on the top is the digital readout, and I haven't set it yet. It says the temperature is 99.6 degrees right now, which is pretty perfect. And I have to set the days. For uh, chickens, it needs to be 21 days. So after I get that set, we'll put the eggs inside this incubator. When you're hatching eggs, you try not to touch the shell too much. And if you are going to touch the shell, you need to wash your hands really well because eggs actually can get the oil or hand cream off your hands. So any germs or residue or dirt on your hands could actually go inside the egg. Now I'm getting ready to put it inside the incubator. So you take the dome off. This holds in all the heat. Ooh, it's nice and warm in there. And I'm going to put one in each slot. Each of those ovals I showed you earlier. And the small end faces toward the middle. Because this will rotate them and the egg will roll just the right way if the small end of the egg is pointed toward the middle. When you're hatching eggs, I find it best not to wash the eggs. To get them right out of the nest just the way they are. Because when they come out of the chicken, there's kind of a clear liquid on the outside of it from the chicken that protects the egg from bacteria and, you know, getting diseases and it keeps it protected. If you wash the egg, you wash off that whole protective layer, so your eggs will be more susceptible to bacteria and germs and things like that. So there we go. The eggs are in. That's it. So here is the chart telling the temperature and how many days it takes for the eggs to hatch. So up here at the top it says hens. Hens is chickens. So chickens need to be about 99 and a half degrees. And you have to wait for 21 days. And we're also gonna do some ducks. Here's the ducks. They also have to be around 99 and a half degrees, but you have to wait for 28 days. 21 days for chickens, 28 days for ducks. Chickens take 21 days to hatch. So this is the day that we're on right now, number one. We have to wait all the way up to this day, the one with the smiley face on it. That will be hatch day. Let's count through the numbers so you can really get an idea as to how many days you have to wait. It's a pretty long time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. That's a long time to wait. So each row of eggs, this would be a row, each row of eggs is one whole week. So this is a week. This is a week. And this is a week. How many weeks 
do we have to wait for the eggs to hatch? Each of the tiny little eggs inside this box has a picture of what's going on inside the egg on that particular day. So today is day number one. Let's take a look inside egg number one and see what's happening. Not much. Egg number one just has a plain old egg inside. The baby's not really growing at all today. The egg is just getting warmed up, up to the right temperature, 99.5 degrees, and just starting its life. We don't really see anything major happening today. I also have this really great poster that shows chick development, which also goes up to 21 days. And each day has a little egg with Velcro that can be taken off to reveal what development is going on inside the egg that day. I don't want to spoil any surprises. That would be day number two. We're on day number one, and this is the only one that doesn't open up because there's nothing going on inside the egg today except that it is just starting to be alive for the first time. There's nothing to see. Tomorrow will be the first day that we'll be able to open this and see what happens exactly on day two. I can't wait to show.